Hi, my name is Hiram and I'm on the Applications Engineering team here at Agilent Technologies. Today I'd like to talk about a feature you can find in your power supplies called Remote Sense. First, I'm going to explain why you would use Remote Sense. And finally, I will show you a demonstration of how to connect Remote Sense on your power supply. In order to demonstrate the effects of wire resistance, I'm going to connect the Agilent N6702A 1200W DC power supply to the Agilent 6063B 250W DC electronic load. So now I have set the power supply to 5 volts and DC electronic load to draw 10 amps. As you can see, the voltage at the output of the power supply is 5 volts. As you can see, the voltage at the input terminal of the loads is not 5 volts. Power Supply Remote Sense offers a way to compensate for the voltage drop that you have in the load leads. And how that's done is there are two Remote Sense terminals which actually allow you to measure the voltage anywhere you want in the circuit. By default, the power supply is in local sense mode, and what that means is that the plus and minus sense terminals are connected to the outputs of the power supply. However, we can take wires and go ahead and connect them directly to the input of the load, bypassing the resistance in these wires. What that does is it allows the power supply to act like a voltmeter and read the voltage directly at these terminals. So here we have the 14 gauge cable that I connected between the power supply and the load. And what you can see is that the plus and minus terminals are connected to sense terminals with two jumpers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the jumpers and connect a separate cable, which is going to be my sense cable. So I've decided to use a different colored cable just for clarity for the sense connection. As you can see, I've removed the two local sense jumpers and installed the sense cable at the plus and minus sense terminals on the outsides. So here we have the back of the N6702 power supply and I'm going to go ahead and take the output connector and plug that into the back. As you can see the load cable is connected directly to the load and now I'm going to take the sense cable which is the red and black cable, and connect that to the plus and minus input terminals of the load. Again, I have the power supply set to a constant voltage of 5 volts, and I have the load drawing a constant 10 amps of current. With the power supply now in remote sense mode, I'm going to use the Agilent 34411A digital multimeter to take a measurement at the inputs of the load. As you can see, the plus and minus input terminals of the load have 5 volts across them. Also, as you would expect, the plus and minus output terminals of the power supply now have more than 5 volts across them. So just as a recap, we had 5 volts set on the power supply and we had 10 amps running through the load leads here. What happened was that there was a voltage drop of 0.3 volts due to the 10 amps of current running through these 14 gauge wires. To correct that, we connected the plus and minus sense terminals from their original connection, which was local sense, and connected them using remote sense directly to the load. What this did was this allowed the power supply to output 5.3 volts at the plus and minus output, output terminals. So there were 5.3 volts here, and that gave a 5 volt directly at the plus and minus input terminals of the load. Thanks for watching. For this and other helpful tips, follow the link on this page. Thank you.